All right, so pretty much everyone's asking me like why I always wear a hat indoors, but this is kind of why. If I don't do it, then this is what my hair looks like. Um, and it's also kind of cold inside right now, but I also want to keep it on just so that the hair doesn't distract you too much. Anyway, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create a password manager using Python and SQL. Postgres is what we're gonna use for the database. I think it's gonna be a pretty interesting uh, build and it's something that I haven't tried before, but I've had this idea for a while now that I wanted to try it out. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. And the first thing that we're gonna do is start to actually write out the ideas and to-dos and requirements on my iPad. So we're gonna see how that goes. And you're gonna to get to see how bad my handwriting actually is. But yeah, let's start with that. All right, so what we're gonna start out with is basically just writing out the requirements and questions that I have about how to actually create password managers. Uh, so first of all, the questions that I have is kind of how password managers work. I kind of know how they work. It's basically a hashing function where you put in a password that you want to have. So maybe that's cal123 and then that password gets hashed into a hashed value that you then store into a database of some kind. And that's something that could be a potential, but I'm not sure exactly how that works in specific like detail. But then the next thing that we could also have is something where you basically have a master password, which is what I think is more common. So you basically just need to remember the password to your database. And then within that database, it just generates different passwords uh, automatically. So you don't have to actually uh, create or remember the passwords. You just remember the password to the database. And then once you get into it, then you can retrieve the passwords for different uh, sites and different things. So then our tasks here is to create a basic uh, terminal interface of some kind. Um, this could also become an actual UI with like Pi, uh, I think it's called PyLinter or Pi, some sort of interface with Python. Could be something that we do. I think we're just gonna stick to the terminal for this one because I think this will take some time anyway. We basically want the user to be able to say what they want to do. So there needs to be some sort of menu system that works. And that's just very basic. It's not something complicated at all. And then we need to be able to hash the passwords. And then we need to also create an SQL database of some kind to actually store the passwords. Uh, and the requirements for this, and this is just very loosely written up, and that's user needs to be able to type in the site or URL name to whatever site or place that they want to get a password for. And then this should get back the password and also store, you should also be able to store the password in the same way. And the password should store in an SQL database, password should be able to retrieve from an SQL database. And then we also want to auto copy the password to the clipboard because that's kind of just a nice feature. If you want to retrieve a password from a site, then you get it back and it automatically copies to your clipboard so that you can just go to that site and paste it in and it will be the password so that you don't have to like select the password within the terminal. So that's essentially the requirements that, they, that we have and my super shitty handwriting. So now I'm gonna to get to actually trying to figure out some of these things. So let's get started. Finally, we have a Postgres database started here. So now we can start to actually create the database for this thing and try to create a, uh, what do you call it? Like a table for the passwords with all the information that we'll need for each password. So now I'm gonna create it and then I'm gonna show you kind of what I've made. All right, so before we continue, I just wanted to quickly mention today's sponsor. And this is a sponsor that I think is just perfect for this channel and that I think really brings a lot of value to you guys. This video is sponsored by Kite. Kite is a free auto completion engine that uses machine learning to provide the completions, 
which is what makes it stand out and also what makes it the best auto completion engine that I've used. One of the most useful features is that Kite's completions are sorted or ranked by relevance instead of by popularity or by the alphabet. This is possible because they're using machine learning to provide the completions. It means that you will get suggested completions based on the code that you're actually writing. And if you're writing code in Python, the Copilot feature offers documentation lookup, so you don't have to constantly Google search function signatures and call patterns. With Kite, you can actually write code up to 18% faster. And who doesn't want to write code faster, right? So I highly recommend that you download Kite and try it out. It's completely free and supports up to 13 programming languages and 16 IDEs. So just give it a go. I know that you will like it because I love it. All right, so now we actually have a database here that we're using. So this is the Python script that I'm writing that's inserting a new password into the database with a lot of details. And then what we do is we create an, a query here where we basically insert into a table, which is the table accounts that I've created, where we have password, email, username, URL, app name, and all of that stuff gets inserted. And here is the record to insert. And basically here's a password, password123. This would be a hashed value of a password. So this wouldn't actually say the actual password, but for this test, I just wanted to write everything in. So now if we take a look here at the password manager, I've just done a select star from accounts, which basically selects all uh, the columns or the entries into the accounts table that we've created here in Postgres. So this means that this now works. So now we just need to basically, I'm gonna turn this into a method here in Python so that we instead can provide all of this information into this method and then enter it into the password so it kind of gets automated. And then we'll create a menu system for the terminal so that we can have a user actually open it up and uh, decide which stuff to enter in and type it all in and all that stuff. So next step will be to actually hash the passwords. All right, let's go. So I think I like misunderstood. I'd gotten confused uh, about how hashing kind of works. I was thinking that you could basically unhash something, which is not true. You can't unhash a hashed value. But the thing with hashing is that if you provide the same things, then you will get the same things out of the hash. So the idea is then if you keep track of a main password, then you can basically hash that with the name of the, the service that you're going to be using and also with a secret key that you have. And that then gets combined into a hash that then turns into the, va the password that you're going to be using. So now I have this thing pretty much completed. Uh, it's not it's not perfect and it's not super safe right now, but there's this is a really good start and something that you can probably keep working on to make it even more safe and like uh, to actually create a proper password manager. Okay, so this is what happens if you run it. First, please provide the master password for Cal Manager 3000. This is what should be a really secure password. Uh, and should be then the only password that you actually have to remember. And then you press enter and it says you're in. Please provide an easy password for this site. Well, let's say that I'm at Facebook and I want to create a, a pretty easy password to remember. Now, pr please provide the email that you're using. Let's say that it's, it's cal at email.com. And now we can take a look at our actual Postgres database. So if we type in select star from accounts, then we select all of the inserts into this uh, password manager database. Here we have the one that I just created, which is for Facebook. Now we have all of this information. We could create a menu that where you could just retrieve what email you use based on a app name or you could create a script that gets you uh, different apps that you're signed into with different emails so you just get all of those listed out for you which could be super useful actually you know what let's let's actually implement that to make this script a little bit more like complete 
And then, uh, but before I do that, I'm just gonna go out for a little walk to just kind of get a get some fresh air and uh, clear my mind a little bit. I also need to eat breakfast because I haven't done that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then I'll come back and kind of fix this last stuff that will make this a little bit more polished. So now I've had something to eat and I feel a little bit better because I basically haven't eaten for six hours and I woke up six hours ago, which means I haven't eaten for like, I don't know, like 20 hours or something. Now I'm just gonna go for a short walk and then we'll continue with the video. All right, and if you've stayed this long, then you're just gonna have to deal with this. Uh, I've put the GoPro here right now. I'm gonna try to climb this tree and we'll see if this kind of makes for a really interesting shot. I think it'll be kind of, kind of interesting. I don't know, anyway, let's do it. All right, let's try to get down now. Ah. That was... Oh. 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 That was way more scary than I wanted it to be. So now I think uh, this is completed or kind of completed. We need to provide the master password. If we don't provide the right one, then it just quits. And then we can run it again. And if we provide the right one, then we get to this menu. And then we can create a new password, find all the sites and apps connected to a certain email, find a password for a certain site or app and exit. So what if I want to create a new password? I type in one. Provide a name for the site of the password that you want to create. So Facebook, enter, provide a simple password. Hello, Facebook. Uh, your password has been created and copied to the clipboard. That's great. And now please provide a user email for this app or site. Uh, this is going to be cal at email.com. Okay, so this then should have created a new uh, a new account for my profile with that email. So now let's do let's see if we can find all the accounts that are connected to my Cal at email account. So let's press two, provide the email Cal at email .com. and here we see the result. We get. Uh, that this is the password and this is my email and this is the site and this is the site that we're then connected to and so yeah that's basically this thing done now you can also do uh, you can also press three and then we look for reddit we're basically now looking for a password to reddit and if we press enter we find the password which is this all right so it's right now 5 40 p.m and uh I started this build at about 7 this morning, so, uh, and it's just like, it's ridiculous how long it took to actually get this finished. But a lot of it was due to the fact that like Windows didn't want to cooperate with me at the start. Like I wasn't able to get a Postgres database up and running, which is really kind of annoying and frustrating. So I spent like about an hour or something or two hours this morning just trying to get a lot of things to work here on Windows until I just decided like, fuck it, I'm going to go with Linux. So I live booted into Kali Linux. And then that was again, just a lot of struggles. But then at that time I was like, okay, now I've committed to this Linux thing. So I'm going to like stick it through. And a lot of that was just again, trying to figure out how to actually get a Postgres database up and running and just a lot of Googling and finding different things, trying to solve the different problems that I ran into until I found just a video on YouTube, like a really short one. I just watched it for like 10 seconds and it showed me exactly how to get it up and running, uh, which is always really frustrating when you've spent like three hours trying to get something to work. And then you just watch this one video of someone that does it in like 10 seconds. But that's kind of what happened. And now 
we're here and it's done and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's not super safe or anything right now. It's not something that I would say is a perfect password manager, but it's something that you can kind of get started with and start to fiddle around with and try to work with on your own. And it's something that I'm probably gonna work on as well on my own just to kind of make it a little bit better. So I'm gonna leave a link to this GitHub repository in the description in case you wanna clone it or try it out yourself and see if you can build on it or improve what I've done. And I'm sure that you'll be able to make it way better than I've been able to make it. I'm gonna call it for the today and say that that's it for this one. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.